Hey guys, sorry for taking so long once again to do a vlog. Uh, I've been at home hanging out with Carol, just doing stuff like that and uh, relaxing and doing things that we need to do. Uh, right now I am really just on the north end of Toronto and it is chaos down here. I went to go to the, as you guys probably already know, I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up, but you've probably have seen the other video, but uh, I went to go to the lobster trap, but his, um, they shut the power down in the plaza that he's located in, and uh, it made his lobster tanks flood, or empty, and flood his whole, uh, restaurant so I feel so sorry for him his name's Jay uh, when this pandemic is over I think basically as of Monday um, you guys can start uh, eating in restaurants up to 50% capacity you can still do takeout and stuff uh, Jay's a good guy and uh, he's somehow managed to get through this pandemic and then he gets hit with a flood uh, no power flood on a Sunday on a Saturday night on a Saturday, it happened earlier today, he t sent me a message at 10.30 uh, in the morning and uh, I didn't get the message because I didn't, I didn't think of checking that message. I had a, I had a miss mission to get down to that Vaughn Woodbridge area, uh, get a new fridge for uh, doing the um, live shows. It's got a glass front, I'll be able to see what's inside uh, because the fridge that's there right now, Carol, hates that fridge because it makes noise all night long and uh so she wants that fridge gone and when my wife says go buy a new fridge for your bar i'm in so i'm just trying to uh figure out my save places home on my ways it should there we go it was like missing a page oh that can't it does not want me to go up young street it is it is absolutely chaos down here. I was going to go to Barry. Uh, okay, so I went down to do the lobster trap. Had it all planned out. It was going to be an epic video. and uh, But because uh, the flood and the no power, he couldn't serve me. But I talked to him and uh, we were going to work something out this week. Uh, so I was going to go up to Barry. And so I phoned Carol. And as I phoned her, she's like, I think it's like... Um, it's not only a mom and pop shop, but it's it's a small chain here in, in Toronto. And she says she thinks there's one closer to you than going all the way up to Barry. But we didn't consider how congested this area is for parking and all that. Um, can we just back out a second? Oh, dude, overview. Okay, I need to zoom in. I dude, dude, recenter. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back that way because there's no way I can get it onto Young Street. It is like blocked the traffic. So I'm gonna have to go forward a little bit and then you guys can hang out with me for a little bit of my drive home. But I did the, uh, we went to Kenzo Ramen. And uh, if you want a good ramen, check out Kenzo Ramen. There's a bunch of them. I'm gonna go this way and then see what Waze does. See how he, how he or she gets me to go around all this craziness that's downtown Toronto. So I can't wait to, uh, I'm going to unpackage this fridge, unbox the fridge during the live show. I got two Asahi, as you guys remember. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to go. I'm trying to go. <laughs> They're like stopped and there's cars parked here. There's cars parked there. The The streets are very narrow now because of the, the snow banks are out into the parking spots. So it's like one lane roads almost. Okay, we're gonna try and get out onto this road. Hopefully people are generous and let me out. I don't know what the, oh, it's trying to get me onto the 401. That's why it's making me go this way, okay. I guess that's the best way. Waze is an awesome traffic app, as you guys know, I always talk about it. Uh, I do uh, use like Siri and Google uh, a lot when I'm in an emergency situation where I don't, I can't touch the phone and I need to get somewhere and uh, so, it's just good to ask Siri. The sun is just beautiful. Like it looks like a beautiful day and it is a beautiful day, but it was minus 25 degrees Celsius with the wind chill. I don't know what it, the temperature was, but Carol's like, be careful out there. There's, there's um, extreme cold warnings 
in Ontario today. And uh, so I'm trying to be, but because uh, I was driving down here, the heat of the van got nice. The jacket I had, there's no way I could have worn that during eating that spicy ramen because my mouth is still on fire. And it looks like I need to stay in this right lane. Sometimes you get stuck in that right hand turn only lane. And that's not cool. I've been making uh, a lot of plans and organizing stuff. Yeah, all the all the the lane that I'm in, the snowbank is right out halfway. So I am literally straddling two lanes, trying to stay as right as possible, and uh, not to hit a snowbank or collide with other cars. This is nuts. This is nuts. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Holy schmoly. Oh, that was spooky. If somebody wasn't paying attention, they'd hit that snowbank and they'd go up on two wheels or flip the car. Because the snowbanks right now are like rock. And uh, that's probably why some of the streets haven't been clean. It's just too cold. And here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's the wrong song, I know. Woo! Let's do that, maybe. There we go. Rusty's uh, uh, sun visors work well. Carol and I have been going on a lot of walks lately, and uh, during our walks, we do a lot of talking about family and friends and us and uh, you guys, of course, and uh, talking about like the next the next phase of what we're going to be doing uh, on on this channel and uh, on the big channel, and uh, I think I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and and look into getting the uh, the GMC parcel van and um, I'm considering doing the raised top so a lot of uh, conversion vans they can they can do a raised top and it probably adds like another foot onto it but I was watching Forestry Forest let me know in the comments below if you love Forestry Forest his channel is so cool and I learned so much from that guy uh, he's so knowledgeable across. He's like the jack of all trades. He he does his own sewing. He does his own repairs. He knows how to fix his engines. He does everything. Climbs mountains by himself. I'd never do that. I'd, I'd never do what he did. Uh, I'm I'm too too old and too scared <laughs> to do that. I, even if I was young, I don't think I'd I'd have the balls to do what he does and climb these mountains all by himself. Sometimes in in blizzards and. And it's bear country and oh my god the last thing i want to see is a grizzly bear up front uh, up close <laughs> anyway on the one of his last videos he talked about you know he he thought about getting a sprinter he thought about getting the extension on the van and all that stuff just give him more room but he says the more room you have the the more fuel you need to heat that space so if it's if you don't mind wasting more money uh or burning more fuel whether he has a he has like a little wood stove in there plus he's got the diesel heater I think I need to be in the next right lane and uh, you know it costs more money to heat that space so and I get it I understand I know where he's going but I, I need a, a, a little bit bigger space than this because there's so many times that I'm just sitting there watching TikTok waiting for the next meal because there's nothing to do. Uh, that's why I added the bike rides and uh, the hikes and all that stuff just to give myself exercise and give me something to do and give you guys something extra in the videos. This video is probably all blown out from the sun. Sorry about that. We're turning north in a second, so hopefully that will uh, get the sun off my face this direction. So I'm thinking about getting that GMC Sierra or Savannah and uh, consider putting that next top on it but if I can figure out sitting in the back of the van uh, either on a, a bed with a table in front of me so I can work that's that's why my my next step is so that on the hours that I'm not doing anything waiting for something uh, to happen like lunch or dinner 
and I've got a few hours to kill, uh, I could I could be editing and compressing footage and, and rendering and all that stuff and uh, making making my my living space into a workspace and living space at the same time. So that's what we're planning. Uh, so when I get that van, it's either going to be that or the a Ford panel van. And uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, put the four x four kit on it maybe raise it a bit too so that when i go to the cottage i can uh, go into these um harder type roads to get into because i don't think a regular van can get into those kinds of things so i want to do the four by four kit uh probably raise it a bit and uh possibly put the conversion top on top uh i definitely want to put solar panels on two roof vents and i want to have it insulated and uh, have like a battery supply in it for the solar panels and have that hooked up to the alternator so when I'm driving it's, it's charging it up. I just want to have that really cool space uh, and do a lot of really cool adventures with you guys and start traveling further uh, away from Southern Ontario area and uh, just do more camping style videos and uh, exploration adventures. We are now moving off the 401 onto the 400. Just in case you guys didn't know this, especially you Ontario people, uh, all the highways with the odd numbers are east and west. 401, 407, 403, and all the even numbers like the 400, the 404, they are all north and south. Uh, what's the other one, the 410? So all the even numbers are north and south and all the odd numbers are east and west. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you knew that already. Uh, I learned that from uh, a TikTok video. I'm uh, becoming educated from TikTok, it's great. So that last little bit was because we're in the uh, express lanes, then we had to move into the collector lanes. Now we're turning to head north to go home and uh, do a live show for you guys. I haven't done one in a long time. I got the two Asahi beers uh, and they were 12 bucks a bottle. Yikes! So I got two bottles, $24 plus tip, 30 bucks. <laughs> Nuts. Nuts, I tell ya! But I haven't had an Asahi, as far as I can remember, since I was in Japan. And when I was in Japan, those the cans uh, they had a lot of uh, vending machines that had beer in them in, in the hotels and stuff. And uh, that was just my favorite. It was either that or the, the Sapporo. And uh, there's a beautiful Ferrari, one of those like 1980, 1990 ones with uh, the grills on the side. Almost those like slits in the side, flat top on the back. I wonder if you guys can guess it. I'm going to try and uh, race them. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, people don't race. It's a $10,000 fine year in Canada, just in case you didn't know. And I think they lowered it too. So if you're going 40 over the speed limit, it's considered stunt driving, racing, whatever. And uh, it's a $10,000 fine. I'm gonna catch up to him, see if you guys can recognize this Ferrari. It's a beautiful, it's one of those ones that when it first came out, you know, if you had the money, you'd, you wanted to buy it because it's just a beautiful car. I don't know what number it is. I can't read it, but you guys can tell me as I pass it. You ready? There it is. There it is. There it is. He's trying to race me. I'm going to go faster. There you go. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Stick it. <laughs> Should have bought a town and country, dude. So much faster. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog a little a little boring but a little fun at the same time got to see a ferrari got to hang with me down almost downtown toronto not downtown uptown toronto and uh yeah on our way home so we'll see you tonight on the live show and uh i don't know it's january so we might we should be doing more live shows but uh this is stealth there's a camper dude he's got the um what do you call it? Like if you get stuck, you can put them down and on the ground to help you get traction in mud or snow or whatever. He's all decked out, good to go. But he's a, he's a, what do they call him? A truck camper. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, we'll see you in the next vlog. Ciao.